Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to grow potatoes in shopping bags and tell you why you might want to do that. It's a video I shot a few years back with my dog Molly. See the planting, see the growing, see the harvesting, all in this one compilation video. Growing potatoes in shopping bags lets you take a look without disturbing the potato plant. It enables you to select only the potatoes you want to take, leaving the smaller potatoes to grow bigger for a subsequent harvest. Enjoy the video! Hello, if you've seen my previous videos on growing potatoes in shopping bags, you'll know what this is all about. Uh, but just in case you haven't, I'll bring you up to speed uh, with how we do this and why we do this, uh, and then we'll do it. Okay, this is a 10 inch pot. It's got some holes in the bottom. Okay, but we're going to line this with a shopping bag. And this is the shopping bag we're going to use. I've already prepared um, four pots uh, prior to starting this video. Um, now then, if we line this pot with this shopping bag, we blank the holes off, don't we? So we best put some holes in this shopping bag. And the best way to do it, I find, is with a pencil. Just crunch the bag up like this. Make sure you don't stick yourself. Just pop the pencil right through the bag, like that. Okay. So now we've got some drainage holes in the bag. Right. What we do now is we line the pot with the bag. Where's it was that? Okay. This is my homemade compost. You'll know what this is made up of. I've already posted videos on this. We put two inches of this in the bag, in the pot. And I think that's about four of these. Okay. Just get it sorted out in there. That should give us about two inches in the bottom of that bag. Now then, if you're going to do this, it's no good doing it with just one seed potato. Molly, leave that compost to her. If you're going to do this, uh, you need to do it with more than one seed potato. And the reason for that is that when this plant grows, we're going to lift it out of this pot using this shopping bag. Take the handles and we'll lift it out. Um, and then we're going to expose the root ball and we're going to take whatever potatoes are big enough to take then we're going to pop it back in the pot to grow on. Now, if I saw this one seed potato in this pot, when I take it out I'm expecting to maybe get two or three potatoes without disturbing the root ball. Well, two or three potatoes isn't big enough for a meal, is it? But if I can do it with five pots, and get two or three potatoes out of five pots. I could get 10 to 15 potatoes. Now that's certainly enough for a meal. And we put them all back in the pot again. How good is that? These, by the way, are jazzy. And these are a store-bought potato. I believe these are an early potato, but I'm not 100% sure. Are you listening, Molly? Yeah, she is. She's paying attention. So we sit this on that two inch of compost, and then we fill the pot. Okay, so it's fall, fallen over. Sit it in like that and fill the pot. And it's as easy as that. Last one. Don't forget, if you're doing this, you need five or six of these guys, I would think, so that um, you're going to expose them all together. You're going to take them all out together. Take a few potatoes off every plant and put every plant back in the pot. Okay, so that's us done. Five jazzy, one in each 10 inch pot, homemade compost, lined with shopping bags, all poked in the bottom of the bags. Um, when those potatoes are big enough, when we think there might be something on them, we lift them out, 
We'll peel the bags back and we'll have a look. If there's any big enough, we'll take them. Uh, if there's any that are a bit too small, we'll leave them. We'll pop them back in the pots to grow on. So if you've only got a small space to work in, like I have, this might be for you. I'm going to get more than one harvest of potatoes out of each of these pots, hopefully. Throwing in a small space in small pots in shopping bags. Uh, you'll never take the potatoes early again. We lift these out and all these potatoes are small. When we expose them, we'll go back in. The plant will still be alive. We won't have wasted it. And those potatoes will grow until they become big potatoes and then we'll harvest them. You go inside for a cup of tea, you come back out, your dog's eating your compost. Happy days. This is one of my potatoes I've started off this year in a shopping bag. And this is Molly. <laughs> um, this is Jazzy. It's been in this in these shopping bags inside this 10 inch pot um, for 10 weeks. Okay. So we're not expecting there to be any potatoes on this particular plant yet. But what I want to do is I want to lift it out. Uh, I want to expose the root ball. Uh, and check that there are no potatoes there. Um, now I won't be disappointed if there aren't any potatoes because I don't expect it to be after just 10 weeks but I will be disappointed if the soil ball doesn't hold together. Um, and then I'm hoping that in another two to four weeks we'll be able to go to this potato again, take it out, expose the root ball and perhaps take some early potatoes and then return it to the pot. But whatever happens today, we're hopefully going to put this potato back into this pot without any root disturbance for it to grow on. And now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to grip the pot between my feet and pull up on the shopping bag handles. And this potato should come out of this pot. Yes, it should, Molly. Okay, let's try it. Yep. How's that? Okay, so now we've got our potato out of the pot. And so far, no root disturbance. We'll, well, I'm just going to move position now to, to, to make it easier to expose this uh, root ball. And then um, to inspect it to see if there are any potatoes. Right then, let's see if we can expose this root ball without losing any of it. And if the, uh, there are potatoes on the outside of the root ball, we'll expose them. If there aren't, then there aren't. Uh, it'll take a few more weeks, won't it? Well, the root ball's held together, so we're happy with that, as you can see. And I don't believe there are any potatoes showing, but I'll just turn this around nice and slowly, um, and then you'll see that there are no potatoes showing. But at 10 weeks, we didn't expect there would be. But give it another few weeks, we'll be looking for potatoes. How's that? Now this is a good bit. We haven't damaged the root ball. Potatoes still intact. 
of that burner potato in a pot and you'd emptied it out, you would have ruined it. Okay, because we're in the shopping bags, we can pop this guy straight back in the pot. How's that? Okay, let's pop it straight back in the pot. And Jazzy can grow on for another few weeks. Um, and produce potatoes, hopefully. About a week ago I put up a video uh, growing potatoes in shopping bags and it was our first look. We lifted the plant out, we inspected the root ball and there were no potatoes but we popped it straight back in the pot with no root disturbance. So we didn't waste the plant, we got no potatoes but we didn't waste the plant, that's the important thing. Okay, I've just had a look at this ticket and this uh, jazzy uh, potato has been in this 10 inch pot now for 90 days. Now I've already seen the reveals on YouTube at 70 days, 80 days, 90 days. Um, some good not, and some not so good. Uh, the better reveals tend to come from potatoes that have been um, grown in a polytunnel or a greenhouse. Obviously it, you can improve the uh, position of the plant by doing that but if you don't have a polytunnel or a greenhouse and you're growing in your garden in your allotment on a patio and you're growing in a pot and you've had your potato in for 90 days chances are you're going to get what I'm going to get today so we're going to have a look at this I still think 90 days is a bit too early to expect any potatoes um, but we're going to take a look nevertheless um, just because I'm itching to take a look basically that's it there we go right I've got a few of these guys in bags I'm not too sure if I've exposed this one before um, but we're going to roll this bag down hopefully not disturb the root ball not lose too much soil from the root ball and see if there's anything in there and you'll probably see it before I do because I'm above the plant you're looking at it from the side okay can you see anything yet? I'm going to have to come round your side and take a look Not a sausage from where I'm standing, unless there's some around the other side. We'll just turn this round nice and slowly. Oh, hello. Hey, we have potatoes. What do you think? One, two, three, four, five very, very small potatoes. Oh, Molly's getting excited. No, they're not ready yet, Molly. Now then. If we just emptied this pot out, this plant would be ruined and those five potatoes would not get any bigger, they'd be finished and they're only as big as a pea. What we got here? Oh, here we go, look. Two very small ones, one getting a bit bigger. I think there's one there just exposed. Now these are the types of potatoes we're hopefully going to take off at a later date when they get bigger. Uh, leaving the rest of the soil ball intact, the rest of the root ball intact to grow on so that these smaller ones can get bigger. Okay, I hope you're doing this with me. I hope you've got some potatoes in bags because this is what you're looking forward to. Let's see where we're at now. Have we been full circle? I can't remember. I think we have. Okay, let's finish on a shot with some potatoes in it shall we where we at there this looks to be the best 
How's that? So these guys will get bigger over the coming weeks and because they're on the outside of this soil ball uh, we may be able to harvest them um, without actually destroying the soil ball. The roots should hold it together. Uh, there's a quite a good root structure there holding that together already. So let's pop this back in the pot and let's have a look at how much disturbance these guys have seen. How much soil have we lost off this root ball? Excuse me, Mo. Pull these guys back up, shall we? Okay. Pop this down here. We'll put the pot back there. And we'll pop this potato plant straight back in the pot. Come on, you've got to be impressed. You have got to be impressed with that. Now then, here's something that'll impress. Here's something that'll impress you even more. Probably won't impress you as much as that blackbird that's singing to us again today. But this is impressive. That potato has been out of the pot. That's the soil disturbance. Nothing. Absolutely. No root or soil disturbance whatsoever. Potato grows on. How good is that? How good is that, Mo? Let's have a look at the potatoes grown in shopping bags again. Uh, it's a couple of weeks since we last looked. Let's see if those small potatoes that were on the outside of the root ball have got any bigger. Okay. Now we need to be careful here because potato tops could quite easily snap off during this operation so we've just got to take our time as we expose the root ball and hopefully it stays intact and hopefully we can get two or three early potatoes right let's see what we've got can you see anything i'm working from above oh i can say something looks like one. Shall we take this one? Yep. It's a nice potato. Small early potato. Uh, that's not for you Molly. Look I can't put it down now. Molly's spotted it. Shall we take this one? Yep. That's another one. Let me see. Is there any more around this side? I can't see any more. To just try the back. Yeah, we've got one here in the back. I'll just tease this one out. There's another one. So we've taken... Excuse me, Molly. We've taken three. Um, and we're trying not to take any small ones, Molly, so... There won't be one for you. Oh, my best dad. Look, I wasn't going to take any small ones, but... We'll take that one for Molly. Ah, that's yours in a minute. Hold on, we're not finished. Just leave those there, Molly. And don't you touch them. Okay. And we'll sort you out in a minute. So we'll just pull this back up over the root ball. And as you can see, potato doesn't even know it's been out of the pot. And we've got three nice new potatoes there and a small one for Molly. And we managed not to damage the... Um, damage the foliage so this potato goes back in the pot to grow on and any small ones on that uh, potato plant will get bigger. It's worth noting at this point that uh, most of the potatoes tend to be in the middle of the root ball so you're not going to get that many from the outside and then at some stage you will harvest this potato completely and take everything. Right, let's pop that in that pot there 
and we'll do uh, one more. Say anything, Molly? Is there anything? I'm d oh, what's that? I thought I thought. Oh, there's one straight away. It's not too big, but we've taken it. Oh, hello, that looks to be a couple down there. Hold on, Molly. Wait. We'll take this one, Molly. It's another nice one. We'll take this one. That's another nice new potato. I'll just fill around the soil ball to see if I can fill any more. You can see there are some small ones, look. Um, but we're hoping to leave those on. Oh. And um, they'll grow into bigger potatoes, won't they? Okay. So that's your how to grow potatoes in shopping bags, start to finish. Clearly these plants aren't finished, but um, you've seen the principle, you've seen how it works. You may be giving this a go yourself. Uh, let us know how you get on. Get them all. Very sweet, huh? That's for you. We'll do one more. One more more there. Can you reach it, lass? Yeah, of course you can. And we'll take these indoors, give them a wash. Ah, you've had yours. Take these indoors, give them a wash. Nice potato salad. What do you think? Come on, more. Whoops. <laughs> Come on, you've had yours, let's go. Thanks for staying with it. Did you enjoy the video? Well, why not share it? Somebody you know will be growing vegetables. That might be something they would like to try. They may even want to follow up homegrown veg. If you leave in a comment, maybe even a like, Next to the thumbs up icon is a share icon, making it easier for you to share this video on your social media platforms. Hey, share the love of growing your own homegrown veg. If you've subscribed to the channel, thanks. If you haven't, isn't it about time you did? This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.